Hi, hello friends, welcome to English with Mr. Nambi. In this video, we are going to learn about Class 9th Unit 5 Prose, What are the Elixir of Life, written by Sir C. V. Raman. The full name of Sir C. V. Raman is Sir Chandra Sekhra Vangat Raman and he is an Indian physicist and he has done many researches on scattering of light and in 1930 he received the Nobel Prize for Physics. To honor Sir C. V. Raman, Raman's scattering of light is described as Raman scattering effect. He also received Bharat Ratna Award, which is the most famous award in India. In this prose, Sir C. V. Raman has spoken about the importance of water and he described water as the natural resource which should be preserved for future. The author Sir C. V. Raman has described water as the most precious thing which is important for the human survival. Come on friends, let's look into the summary of this particular prose. The author Sir C. V. Raman has begun the prose by saying that water is the most important thing which is essential for the human survival and he also called water as the divine Amirta. And he states that water is the most common of all liquid. The author once stand on the line which separate the Libyan desert and the valley of Nile in Egypt. While standing on the line, the author observed that one side of the place is filled with desert sand and there were no greens and the entire place is not fertile. Whereas the other side of the Nile river is fertile with greens on it and the place was entirely fertile. He says that the Nile Valley gets the soil from the river Nile and he also says that the valley has sand which has arised from the highlands of Abyssinia and Central Africa. The author Sir C. V. Raman stated that Egyptian civilization is the ancient civilization and he also says that Water is important for our everyday life and he also speaks about the history of earth, how it occurs and he also states about the countryside life, how beautiful the water it is it, while it travels across streams and ponds and he also speaks about the importance of water in countryside. He says that cattle used to drink the water in the ponds and lakes during the evening and then the author described about the south indian drain fed tanks he says that he has a beautiful and a cheerful sight while gazing into the water and then he has spoken about the large water bodies which was filled with water and he says that it seems to be pleasure while looking into the sunrise and sunset which falls on the water he also says that water has the power to carry out silt and soil and he says that the color of the water varies from place to place and it will be changing according to its nature. The author Sir C. V. Raman states that water not only carry the light particles but also it transport the large and the heavy particles from one place to another and then he speaks about the streams which helps to travel from one place to another but at the same time it changes its color for example the streams will be having muddy red or brown color which is further changed into green and blue it reaches the sea and he also described about the alluvial sand which was formed by the floods the author then describes about the soil erosion in india and in various countries the author also spoken about the destruction of water. He says that during floods, agriculture will be impossible and there will be surplus of water. And he also insists us to maintain the flow of water and it should be monitored regularly to prevent from large destruction. The author also states that water is the basis of all life in the earth, including plants and animals. He also states that there is a connection between soil erosion and inadequate rainfall. The author also described about the flow of water which starts from streams and travel through the river and reaches the sea. 
He also says that the water gets wasted. The author states that water management should be planned well. If we fail to conserve the water, it will lead to the failure in afforestation. He also insists the readers to plant trees systematically even in impossible areas. The author insists us to grow trees because trees will prevent soil erosion and it also brings rainfall. It gives wealth to the country and cheap fuel can be produced. The country will march towards development that is the roadways, railways and waterways and the countryside will be also leading towards hydroelectric power. The author concludes the essay by stating that water is the commonest of all liquid and water has the unique power of maintaining plants and animals life and he also insists that everyone should know the properties of water and also everyone should show scientific interest on the research of water. Author ends up the summary by stating that the needs to conserve water is important for the survival of living beings. Thank you so much friends for watching.